Hot shot clock here as Figueroa goes up and airballs a floater. He saves it in bounds. Huff gets it with one on the shot clock and puts it in. Very quick into actions are South Bay right now. About six pivots there in the middle of the lane by Huff before he gave it up to Harrison who drains an elbow jumper. So a quick 11-0 start for South Bay. Here's Woolridge on the baseline. He was one on three down low. He gets blocked. Hamilton out ahead, and that's a fast break bucket for the Blue or for the Lakers, excuse me, plus the foul. Four to four here in the early going. A lot of basketball. Uh, this is a guy who can beat guys off the dribble. He can get his from a scoring perspective, but it, you're right. It's all about um, what can you do to elevate the team as well. And he's done a pretty good job of that over these past couple games. Here in the second quarter, Ramsey after some great movement. That blender, it's going right now. Huff swings it to Jang. Back to Ramsey, who blows right by Huff on the baseline. Slow shooting start for Jang, and he had a tough shooting day the other the other game against uh, G League, G League Ignite, excuse me. But that hasn't phased him, uh, according to head coach Cam Woods. Nice force that Jang played with on that crossover. He twists, spins, but loses it going up in the middle of the lane. Here's Pippen out in the open floor. He's going to finish on a fast break layup. Pretty quiet day for him so far. Jang attacks through the contact and scores. It requires a lot of IQ and anticipation to get your body set and get your feet set before the player gets goes up. Oh, and Makoka downhill. A one-handed slam dunk. He turned the corner. You see him, he took the pass, attacked that closeout by Pippen, slammed it through the hoop with one hand. Now the Blues pressed South Bay up against the shot clock. Pippen, he's going to kick it over to Kennedy. There's one on the shot clock, a one-footed running floater, and that goes down to... In the ball game, or in the, in the possession, really, you force a floater from outside the three-point line that fell at the end. Kennedy, who may have gotten going with that floater, he buries a pump fake three on the left-hand side. I have to try to make the most of these last 30 seconds now and head into the locker room feeling like they can deliver a really good punch coming out of halftime as Williams rolls down low. And now you've got 4.5 seconds left and you've got the ball. Jang races in the front court, pump fakes, puts it up. That three is good. They were coming down the floor with. Wilson breaks up that lob for Huff. You see immediately why that height and size on Huff could be a factor here in the second half. Jay Will, jump step, attacks, scores through the contact, and that's going to be a potential three-point play. Out on the break and keeping the ball ahead of the defense. Can you keep your advantage up the floor? The leaders of the Thunder Fellows program up in Tulsa. You all may remember the announcement of that program and its incredible first year. Two of those fellows that were in the, the film got a chance to go to the White House That's and right. sit down with members of the Biden administration. That's right, they went and toured the White House with the rest of the Oklahoma City Thunder. They're kind of in that ever, every other day rhythm. Meanwhile, the blue, uh, as Jalen Williams gets blocked there by Huff, um, really kind of trying to recollect that mojo that they had going from last week when they played the G League Ignite. The energy is slowing down and calming down a little bit, all because these shots are starting to fall. There's a drive by Huff. He finishes with the left hand. Loose balls have bounced around. Four on the shot clock. Woolridge attacks, gets into the teeth of the defense, and scores at the end of the shot clock. Crafty making his way and navigating those big bodies down there around the rim. Now a response on the other end is... Bryce Hamilton, you know, anything you can do, I can do better. You know, the blue starts knocking down some threes, and then a flurry of threes from South Bay. Identity and the characteristics that you want to play with, even if the Lakers keep throwing these punches throughout the day. Second chance for Jalen Williams. He finds Makoka. Really into it. It's not often that you get all the guys out there at a community event, and you can see the camaraderie, the communication talking about who's going to take what bag to what car. And it's not just the physical requirement that goes into that, right? Like the endurance and the conditioning that goes into it. But it's also on the second attempt there. Ramsey with the twisting leg. They are erupting up the floor and almost trying to use it as a transition opportunity to gain some advantage. And that's been their bread and butter all night. What a beautiful kickback pass from Jang to Jay Will. His first minutes of the afternoon. Kangu is a rookie, played at Lenore Rhine in Oakland, but is another Canadian in this Thunder organization. Now he's got 
to go up against people who know what he's going to try to get to and are specifically in the game to try to take those looks away. He's leading the blue with 17 points to go with eight rebounds. Gets out of the screen and Makoka goes baseline. He finishes at the rim. Not quite as authoritative as that one-handed slam, but just as pretty. Two late substitutions here for South Bay. It's Gabe Levin and it's Derek St. Hilaire. Mark Dagnall. That's right. Previous, you know, previous uh, just philosophy that is an organization-wide philosophy for the Thunder and the Blue. Here's an attempted spin by Pierre-Louis. He couldn't quite get the pivot to go. Javante McCoy goes behind his back to Levin. And Levin scores on that foul call against Jalen Williams because J. Will came over. He stayed vertical. An opportunity for teams to get out on the floor and get a practice or a shoot around in. Hamilton from behind the arc again for South Bay. That's been the story of the afternoon. Three-pointer, that's number 18 for the game for South Bay. 18 of 31 from behind the arc. That's 51% as Levin, he attacks, and what a play. Talk about moment of truth. Adam Makoka, you gotta have competitive empathy on both sides of the ball, right? You gotta, as, as Miles Simon and Cam Woods shake hands there, and they go through the, the high five line here. These guys know that they'll get back.